Hi, my name is Rashida, also known as Nurse Sheeta, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to share with you guys some super big news. You can now start referring to me as Ivy League Bay because I will be attending the University of Pennsylvania this fall. I'll be pursuing a doctoral degree, and in light of that, I decided to make a video about PhDs versus DMPs, and in the end, I'll let you guys know which one that I chose. So let's get started. The biggest difference between the two degrees is that the PhD is not a clinical degree. It's not for someone who wants to stay on the bedside. It's more geared towards research. Whereas the DMP is a nurse practitioner with a doctorate. So it is more clinical. It is for someone who wants to be more involved in direct patient care. So that's the first and biggest difference between the two. The second difference is the amount of time it takes to complete the degree. So for a DMP, if you have a master's degree, I've seen some schools where it could take you one to two years to finish the degree, depending on what classes you've taken in your master's program, whether that school takes your credits or not uh, that were applied to your master's degree, and also what type of DMP you, you pursue. There's some that are more credit intensive and some that are less. Whereas the PhD is going to take a minimum of three years to complete. Some schools, it can take up to five depending on what your research is on. And um, sometimes life just happens. I know people who have PhDs where they ended up having children or getting married and that slows down your research. So of course it's gonna take you a little longer to finish, which is perfectly fine because life happens and kids and weddings are great. So okay if it takes you a little longer to complete. The third difference is the average salary. So a DMP on average makes six figures. That's what's listed on Google and a lot of places. Whereas a PhD on average makes around 80s, 90s. And that's because a lot of PhD prepared nurses will go back into academia. And unfortunately, here in the States, not a lot of colleges pay their professors well. So it's expected for the salary to be less for a non-clinical academic position than it would for a clinician who works at the bedside with patients. Um, that average salary doesn't include grants. So a lot of PhD prepared nurses that are still actively doing research and doing big projects, they may be getting funding from large organizations to fund their projects and that money can be allocated in any way that they see fit. So that's something else to keep in mind. It's not like if you need to pay employees or pay community health workers or need money for your projects, they're usually is a budget uh, that you create and um, there's usually funding available for your projects depending on what it is. So that's something else to keep in mind to, if you're thinking about taking the PhD route. Another thing that is different about the two is that for a DMP you do get a certification and from what I saw through my research you have to renew it every five years. Of course, things are changing. We live in interesting times. There's nurses running around with no license right now, like expired licenses, or they took their NCLEX and are waiting for, and they pass and they're waiting for their license to come through. But due to COVID and all the things that are changing because of it, they just don't have license number. So who knows if that's something that's gonna change in the future or if that's something that's really strongly enforced at this time, but it is a five year renewal. Whereas a PhD, you just have a PhD, there's no license that need to be renewed. So that's also something that's really nice about the PhD option as opposed to the DMP. And another difference is at school, the DMP is very clinical heavy since you will be working in the hospital setting. Well, so not all DMPs work in the hospital setting, 
But since you'll be expected to work closely with patients, there's clinical hours. I've seen programs have up to a thousand clinical hours, which can be a little annoying because we all know with nursing, the thing that makes the schedule so rigid is the clinicals. Like you can make up classes anytime, but if you need to make up the wrong clinical, sometimes it can hold you back. So you might have to miss that wedding or that large event because you have clinical. Whereas the PhD option has very minimal clinical time and most of your time is spent on your research and producing a paper. Some programs now, instead of having you do a long dissertation, they have you do shorter articles instead. But the whole point is to produce physical paper work. Whereas the DMP, it's more the clinical um, aspect is emphasized more. I also wanted to mention that there's also a DMP slash PhD option. I've seen that uh, pop up at a couple of schools and the average time to complete it is five years. I don't know. It wasn't something that I ever thought about doing. I'm okay with just being a doctor and not a doctor squared. <laughs> but more power to anyone who is doing it because that is really an amazing degree to have. You have the clinical aspect and everything that's great about a DMP and then you have the research aspect and everything that's great about a PhD married into one. So that's also an option for you as well if you're stuck between the two and you love them both. <laughs> both options are really in high demand. As you know, we are experiencing a nursing shortage and I think the pandemic has helped highlight that even more but we are short nurses like crazy. So these um, advanced degrees are really gonna come in handy. And in terms of the PhD, the PhD in nursing, I believe is still very innovative. Uh, the DMP as well, I believe that's still a new degree. So we're out here being pioneers, you know? We're showing everyone that nurses can create care plans, nurses can create research protocols, like nurses are out here winning and I'm really excited to just be part of the nursing community and I'm so blessed to have gotten to the University of Pennsylvania to pursue my PhD in nursing on a full ride with a stipend and health insurance and I'm thankful for you guys for tuning in. I'm excited to share my PhD journey with you guys. I still have so many nursing things to share and story time, some tea to share with you guys. And um, you guys can watch me try to make it through. And I'm praying, this is me speaking into existence. I'm gonna finish this in three years and I'm gonna be out conquering the world with my amazing global health research. So. Stay tuned. I'm so excited to share this journey with you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, uh, watch my other videos, and tune in to watch me conquer this PhD degree.